Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vaughn Show. Today, I'm going to give you guys 21 travel tips to make you the savviest world traveler that you could be. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and click the bell. So, I'm going to just hop right into it. I'm not going to waste your time because a lot of you viewers, y'all are big on time, 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 time. Get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. So I'm going to go hop right directly into the point. All right, tip number one. And you guys, I have my notes because I'm always big on having notes. I know this may sound a little weird, but you should always travel with a, travel with a towel and a wash log. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you're like, well, Paul, the hotel will have it or the Airbnb will have it. Not in all cases. Because I remember when I went to Paris that they didn't have washcloths. And even when I go to Nigeria, they don't have washcloth. And I'm big on a washcloth. Like, I need a washcloth. I can't do the soap, 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 soap rinse. I got to scrub. You know what I mean? I got to scrub my body. Um, but, I mean, some people do. Some It's cultural. Some people do. But for me, make sure you always travel with the towel and the washcloth. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, number two. Um, buy a small backpack uh, or suitcase. So me, I only do, for the most part, I only do carry-ons. Um, because number one, I want to make sure that my items are always with me. And number two, I travel light. Like, I don't need to travel, you know, with all this massive amount of stuff. I travel very, very light. And it forces you to travel light as well. I mean, I know a lot of you guys want to go out, have all, you, you know, your bags to go under the plane with all your stuff. So you can take your IG photos, your Facebook photos, and do all your TikTok. I get it. But, you know, we're talking about being a savvy world traveler. So, you know, you should always pack light. Number three. Uh, well, pack light is well. Number two is to buy a, a smaller suitcase. Number three is to pack light. Number four, um, take extra socks. Like you should always have an extra pair of socks. I mean, that's just me. Like sometimes, you know what? You know, actually, I lie. Sometimes I used to never take socks because uh, I was wear sandal. It could be cold. I would still wear sandals. But you should always take a pair of socks and take compressor socks too. Like, like I've learned to take compressor socks because on the plane, I started to notice when I got off the plane, my feet were like swelling. Oof, it was awful. So make sure you take compressor socks for like the plane and things like that. Number five, take an extra bank card and credit card with you. Yes, 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 yes. I have fallen a victim of this. Um, thinking that, you know, like, oh, I'm going to take one credit card and one debit card. I'm going to be fine. No, take an extra set. If you have an extra credit card, take it. If you have an extra debit card to another bank, make sure you, you take it. Because I was put in a situation where I had to call my mom and my daddy to Western Union me some money because the bank locked my shit down, okay? <laughs> and I couldn't get no money. So, uh, rule number six, make sure you use no fee banks. Like, make sure you reach out to your bank. Uh, to verify like there's no fees um, because that will eat your money up quickly I mean like for me for example when I went to Nigeria I was using Chase when I the unfortunate thing was I had to use my Chase card to take money out because normally a lot of times um, I would just take money out of the ATM when I was there because you get the you get the better rate from the ATM however in this situation didn't work out for me because I ended up paying five dollars just for one transaction and then on top of that i had to pay a two percent on what i took out um uh, which uh, could random me could ran up to like 10 bucks and a lot of the atms in nigeria will only allow you to take up ten thousand naira um at a time which is only like 29 dollars uh and and unfortunately you need more cash than that um so like i used to get eat up in fees like i think i spent almost a hundred dollars in fees which was like the the worst the worst um, so if you can buy no fee bank, make sure you do that as well. Number seven, uh, I travel at least one time by yourself, right? I know in my previous video I talked about like, oh, you know, I prefer to travel with someone, but um, I've started to know, notice like traveling by myself has been like very like inspiring, like very like self fulfilling. Like I'm gonna take a couple more by myself. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go. Um, but I want to go like technically just by myself, you know, maybe I would say go by yourself for a couple of days and then you can invite someone along later, you know, later on into your trip. But yeah, I would, I would definitely do it. Well, I am going to do it again. I'm planning that now. So you'll see a video about that coming up soon. Number eight, don't be afraid to use a map. I know that's so old school. Um, but me, I love me a good map. I'll go to like one of the tourist spots 
pay like the dollar, two dollars for a map, and I'll use it because I, I mean, it's very helpful and a lot, and then I can save on my data on my phone if I don't have one of those package plans where you know I can't save on on data. Number nine, uh, don't be afraid to get purposefully lost, right? Because I feel like when you get purposefully lost, you can go down different paths and you can see different things that you would not have seen. Just make sure that you're safe. Uh, it's called purposefully lost. Make sure you, you know, you kind of scout the area. If it doesn't seem safe, you know, you know, hop in a cab and, you know, go or whatever. But I kind of like it for some, for some of my best trips that I did not plan. I had a really good time just kind of navigating and learning things on my own. Number 10, always visit a local tourism office um, just to kind of get some advice, some insight, um, just kind of like a guide. You don't have to follow everything that they provide you, but just kind of like a guide um, to kind of help you navigate what you're trying to do or maybe what you're trying to film if you're a content creator. Um, I would definitely stop by a travel, a tourist, uh, a tourist office. Uh, number 11, I don't know why I see this with a, a lot of people do this and this kind of slightly irritates me and I don't know why it irritates me, but don't buy the money belt. I think it's the most stupidest thing for you to buy a money belt. You don't think people are, the amount of people that come, uh, that go in and out different places, especially to the tourist sites, you don't think the local people realize that you might have a money belt on you? Like, uh, even if you have the one that sticks within your pants or even the one that wraps around your waist. Like, I have seen people, <laughs> I have seen people steal from people who have those money belts. It's like, you, it's, you're basically saying, hi, I'm a tourist, I have money. Do not buy a money belt. It's a waste. And a pickpocket will take it right out of your pocket. I've seen it happen. Hell, it's happened to me. I'm 12. When you get out, um, when you go out, take only what you need, right? This is a valuable lesson. Valuable lesson. Take only what you need. Like, if you're going to a restaurant, and you kind of already checked it out, or you're going to just buy food, if you only need $30, take $30. If you only need $50, take what you need. Because what, what, will, what will happen, what I would not want to happen, is that you took all your money, your cash with you, and you, you got robbed, and then you're out with anything. At least if someone took something from you, at least, or you lost money, at least it would be, you know, at least you would have money left back wherever you say that to, you know, to recoup or, you know, continue on your trip. Always carry a lock. I don't care where you are, Airbnb, hotel, you always carry a lock. Always carry a lock. Uh, number 14, make sure you make extra copies of your passport and or important documents. Um, I mean, also make sure you email it to yourself as well, just in case if you say the hotel, you can reprint. I mean, it's always important to have extra documents because again, things can get lost in transition. 15, um, I'm going to say learn the basic phrases uh, in the native language of your destination. That will definitely help. Um, the locals will really appreciate you doing that because it, it shows a, a sign of respect um, and that, um, that you're genuinely trying to learn something new within their culture. 17. I mean, this I kind of do this from time to time, but I kind of like read like a history book or like I kind of watch some film or, or where I'm going just to kind of get some insight. If you're like a historian or again, if you're a travel um creator or travel content vlogger or blogger um, it's always good to kind of um, read up on the history of the country that you're going to. 18. Um, don't be ashamed to walk into a Starbucks or McDonald's. Don't eat McDonald's because McDonald's is nasty. But anyway, don't be afraid to um, to walk into like a Starbucks or a McDonald's because you know McDonald's and Starbucks got free Wi-Fi and I'm a big can I'm a big advocate for using someone's free Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, 19. Um, I'm going to say, oh yeah, 19 I have. Okay, this is a good one. Always get behind business travelers when you're going through security lines because they are always in a rush, right? They could be like three and four hours early. They're always in a rush. So make sure you hop behind those people because they, they already know the protocol. They know what to do, take their stuff off, get moving, get going. Don't get behind a family. You'll sit there in the security line for days because you got the mom and dad trying to figure out how to help the kids take off their shoes and take off their belt. And then someone forgets something, they go through the go through the machine and they left their necklace on. And you sit there like, why the hell is taking so long? Why y'all just saying? Why y'all just can't listen to what they saying? Take all this shit off and put it in your bag and go. I hate being behind families. Me, I'll say, you know what? I'll say, hi, excuse me. Is it okay if I go before you guys? Because you guys have a lot going on. Oh, I'm good for that, y'all. I'm good for that. And they look at you like, sir, you can wait. 
<laughs> and then when they make me wait, I'll, this is what I'll do. <sighs> and I'd be very loud, y'all. I'm so petty. I'm so petty. Oh my God, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna miss my flight. I'm gonna miss my flight. Oh, I am one of those persons. I am one of those persons. And so a lot of times they'll be so they'll be so over like, sir, you can go, you can go. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm petty. All right. Um, and my last one, I'm going to say um, 21 is my last one. The last one I'm going to say is that when you check in the hotels, don't be afraid to ask for an upgrade. I know I've said this on a couple of other videos, but I feel like this is very important. Like, just because you paid for a standard one, uh, one, king, uh, one queen size bed doesn't mean that you can't ask for a standard king size bed. Like, I mean, it's worth the shot. Again, all they can do is say no. And I feel like people will be like, oh no, I don't want to ask. I ask every time, hi, hi, how are you? Is it possible I can get an upgrade? And they'll even say yes or no. So, I mean, don't, you know, don't be afraid to ask for an upgrade because, again, um, it may happen, right? So, those are my 21 um, valuable. Um, tips I have for travel again if you guys want to know more tips I have I'm going to do a part two but um, if you guys have any question in regards to those tips or want to know more tips that I um, that I advise for travel please email us at the at gmail.com or you can always leave in the comments again make sure you like share subscribe and click the bell and I will see you beautiful people on my next video peace